Hey everybody, it's Jason with Lexington Antiques. I am going to do a video today. It's actually from the trip to Germany and France uh, a few a month or two ago. I took with my wife. Um, this video is from when we went to Normandy. They have a museum there called the Overlord Museum. And what I was told is that the every item in the museum um, was either collected off the beaches by this one gentleman um, after the uh, Allies had moved out. Uh, once he decided to open the museum, he was asking people for donations or see if they had anything that was left behind as well. And he would get calls from farmers that would say, hey, there's a tank in my field. You can come get it if you want it. Um, crazy things like that. This museum was full of just amazing items. Unfortunately, uh, the, the gentleman who started collecting and wanted to start the museum actually passed away. I believe he said like two months before it actually opened, but his son completed it and carried it on so let's jump into it um, I wish I had um, every piece that was in there in my collection and I'm sure you will too let's check That's one of the hooks that we use to <coughs> climb the cliff. Like, hey, I got this. I've had this in my backyard. <laughs> it's like, well, it's not gonna even play on my field because this thing's sitting there. <laughs> this is all stuff that's kind of found in Normandy. This is what you're being shot at. We'll get there. We'll get there one day. So, <laughs> well, I don't, why do you think I'd have been here yet, Jen? <laughs> With the Sherman. This guy had all this his head. Yeah. I'm not sure if this is something you're interested. In. <laughs> the landing craft. Right, right. And he's just like, yeah, <laughs> there's one on the beach. Somebody's like, go grab it if you want to. But thank goodness somebody was like, you know what, we need to save this, you know? 
They do, yeah, General Motors, all these car companies do a lot of stuff. Oh, I've got one of those too. What? See him holding that gun, it's a yeah. flare gun. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, these are like ammo, they're ammo crates. Not the MP. Again, somebody's like, here you go. You got this? You don't mind? Yeah, it's going to stop. I don't know. I don't know. When they made it, the mulberries into the... Yeah. Those are SS people too. Nah. Nah. I mean they're German, they're not SS. But the SS will have like a school on the cap. I'll show you if I see one. So you see the, uh, you see this guy here. Yeah, <laughs> you want this horse. Was it 
winkel op gehad, is nog stil. I got you, man. Tix needs a man. Tix needs a city facade. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> Next project. Right. <laughs> that leaves us a little guy. So it was like a configured on the point. It's all front here at the Overlord Museum. All these items are either found by this guy who started the museum on the beaches, or people would donate to him. Say, hey, I got a tank in my in my farm, in my field. You can come get it if you want it. <laughs> Unbelievable is that. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as you can see, it's well worth the trip if you ever have the opportunity to go. Even my wife, who is not a, a collector, she's interested in history, but not quite at the level that I am. Um, she was even getting into it and could really appreciate all the stuff that was there and the history with it. Um, so stay tuned for more videos. I'll have plenty more coming up soon. And uh, thanks for watching, and please hit that subscribe button and like the video. Thanks.